Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Third Age Total War Massive Overhaul Submod Sylvan Elves. As we join Legolas, she's apparently about to assault Stonehenge for, st Stonehenge for some reason. There you go. But uh, We're uh, hunting the remainder of the orcs as they run for the hills. Send the Ents to the left hand side, and we will move the archers up so they can get some decent range on the orcs. Yeah, these are the uh, stragglers from the horde that managed to escape last time around. I think they're actually running. <laughs> they want them all dead. No exceptions, they all die. <laughs> Continue like this, Need to wipe them all out, like. No, no, some water riders. My troops are running like pussies. Only half the enemy force remains. Okay, just need to surround these guys, make sure they don't run for it. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. Just need to make sure none of them get away. Actually, I think some of them already have got away, but as long as we kill their general, we should be fine. <laughs> there he goes. It's crushed by an int. Which is their high chief. Uh, they have one general left as well. There's another tiny ass little army for them to command. But I want to wipe them out just so that we know that they're dead and no longer a fucking problem. Then we can focus on other enemies. This is a clear victory. There you go. I lost 14 guys, oh no. And two of them managed to escape. I think there were some of those war riders that ran for it. But no worries. I'm pretty sure they uh, won't actually run away with just two fucking units. Chances of that happening rather slim. Uh, I'm not sure if Legolas is going to have enough movement points to reach the next guy. Execute without question. Yeah, see, he's out of movement points. We know that orc army's gonna run like a little bitch. <laughs> we, um... Do... Oh, we can't build a fort, can we? No. Right. Legolas will hopefully get him in the next turn. I've already moved the troops up here. Towards Fanberg. So. Just need to move this diplomat. Without question. As you wish. I'm going to get uh, map information from the High Elves and everyone else so I can see what's going on around the place. That's what the plan was, anyway. But yep, we will go to the next turn and hopefully keep an eye on where these Orcs of the Misty Mountains are going to run to. Okay, next turn. Okay, guys. Oops. Orcs have gone about have lost their capital. That's nice, but I don't want copyright. Was that orc's name just... 
I thought I think that orb's name was just Treebeard for a second then. I swear it just popped up on the screen. Oop. The free peoples of Arnor have declared war on the dwarves. Well, there's a first. <laughs> um, okay. Would we prefer it be the aggressor? Not really. Because the dwarves have borders with my undefended lands, so... I'd rather not them be there. I'm gonna go kick those fucking dogs' ass in a minute with barking in the background. Be wary. I wonder if I can get to them and dodge the orcs of the Dunderlings. Attack. Yes, I can. Awesome. We protect the Elven lands. Ah, my mouse is all fucked up. It's like, what the hell's happened here? The free peoples of Doucheland have declared war on the dwarves. What? Who does that? <laughs> Why would you do that? Be wary. Onward. It's like the biggest tactical mistake you could possibly make. Why are you fo fucking attacking? For the light. Maybe that's what certain people are on about when they said I should uh, Elves. Elves put watchtowers on my borders. I'm like, Wait, but the only borders that I share is with the dwarves and they're my friends. They're allies. They're good people, so they won't attack me, right? Apparently not. <laughs> We're just gonna Elves. disband some of these artly shit units that I have. Because I can't retrain them. Yes, my lord. Come on! But yeah, uh, the free peoples of Fingmajig have declared war on the dwarves. That's nice. I suppose. As <laughs> a first time for everything, I guess. What's my relation with the uh, free peoples? It's good. The last thing I need is a giant war with the free peoples. Uh, maybe they've got a maybe they've got the one ring or something, and that's why they're going all fucking batshit crazy on me. But yep, let's deal with the remainder of these orcs. Hopefully, wipe them off the face of the fucking planet, and we no longer have to worry about them. All we have to worry about now is the fact that the free peoples of Thingy have gone a tad bit insane and attacking their allies now. I mean, I know the dwarves and the elves have never gotten along, but if the, if the fucking Arnor and everyone hated the dwarves for at any point during time, huh. all I know is the dwarves are fucked in that region, I'm afraid. But we will uh, wipe out the remainder of these orc dudes, and at least we won't have to worry about them for a bit. Hopefully the free peoples and the dwarves will barker, broker some kind of- Barker? Barker. Broker some kind of an alliance. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, hopefully they'll broker some kind of an alliance and stop killing each other. <laughs> we need to focus on killing the orcs, not each other, you morons. Yeah, send in Treebeard and the lads. Not Treebeard and the lads, it's just Eds, but whatever. Huh? Send in the Eds to deal with some serious fucking damage. Huh? If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Let's do as much damage as we can. Mainly with the Ents going back and forward and beating the shit out of them. They have lost half their men. We may as well move up our archers, because we know they're going to flee at some point, right? So 
So they may as well be up nice and close and personal with them. First things first, though, let's get rid of the damn skirmish mood. I don't need them all running like little pussies when they get closer. <laughs> Can I not, like, default turn off skirmish mode unless I want to turn it on? The enemy they are fighting to the end, the don't they? Press our yep, there goes their leader. Whoa! <laughs> Watch where you're going, trees. Behold how our cowardly that wife man will kill them all. It's time to no survivors. Attack. We this pull back our guys. Just let the trees. archers pick them off. Oh, they're already dead. Never mind. <laughs> Every last one of them screwed. Okay, that should be the complete end of the Orcs and the Misty Mountains. In theory. <laughs> They should all be dead. With them dead, that should be the end of the horde. And it should no longer be a problem. There you go. Faction destroyed. Very nice. We no longer have to deal with the Orcs of the Misty Mountains. We just have to worry about the... Three peoples of thingy deciding to kill me. <laughs> Be wary. I think they're getting a bit too power hungry. Maybe they have the one ring and they've uh, gone slightly crazy. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before. A good faction declare war on another good faction. Doesn't usually happen. <laughs> I didn't think it was supposed to happen, to be perfectly honest. That's why we're keeping uh, this here. Actually, what I think might be a good idea to do is to take Gun the Bad and keep it for ourselves. It will act as sort of a buffer between the Free Peoples and the Dwarves. There also runs a risk of either one of them deciding to attack me for some reason. <laughs> That's why we brought this spy up to keep an eye on him. I shall continue tomorrow. Because I'm, I'm slightly concerned now, to be perfectly honest. Just fucking slightly concerned <laughs> that uh, they can and maybe possibly will attack me. I didn't even think that was a fucking possibility to be before, but there you go. It apparently is. <laughs> hey, dirt roads. My lord. Um... Oh yeah, the uh, the good people's little attack on Isengard failed horribly. <laughs> they all died pretty much. Remain wary, elves. I am really quite concerned now, to be honest. <laughs> yes, my lord. Yes, as you wish. If they can attack the dwarves, what's stopping them from attacking me? <laughs> I left this place undefended because I thought they were my friends. <laughs> but apparently not. Friendship doesn't really go very far with the uh, free peoples, apparently. I admit, I'm kind of worried now. <laughs> you know, just as things start to look up, my allies turn on each other and start stabbing each other in the back. What the hell's going on here? What?! What?! What the hell's going on? What the hell's just happened here? This is probably one of the fucked up episodes that I've ever done. Okay, wait a bit, what? The following live actions have broken their alliance. The following factions have become a client kingdom, abandoning their independence and sovereignty. What? Huh? I, I, I'm seriously confused right now. What the fuck just happened? I am very, very confused. What, what, what the hell? What the hell just happened? I could swear the elves of Lorien just became vassals of Isengard.
I am really confused right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you guys try to explain that one to me. This get this this fucking series is becoming really weird. <laughs> Take them this way. Elves, remain wary, elves. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm really kind of confused by that, but there you go. <laughs> Not sure what the fuck just happened there. But there you go. Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Lori Elves of Lorien became vassals of Isengard and then broke their vassalage straight away or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how to explain that, to be honest. I'm just kind of like, what? <laughs> really? Okay. One thing I did do, though, when we were doing the turn, is make a ceasefire with Gundabad. Uh, with the Orcs of Gundabad, sorry. I'm still kind of confused right now. <laughs> I mean, I know that Easterlings constantly ask the fucking Dwarves to be their vassals for some reason. But still, you're just like, what? <laughs> Why would they do that? <laughs> May as well build a heavy armor. Town guard, because we can recruit some pretty decent shit there. Um, I'm pretty sure we could take out pretty much quite a lot of the Dunling guys, because they're kind of shitty... Like, Berserker oh, units, really. There's, I suppose you could use the word Berserker to describe them. But uh, I'm not entirely sure what our next course of action should be. The Elves of Lorien, assuming that they're still my allies, which they are. <laughs> I don't want to leave my borders in the Misty Mountains unsecure, because we're no longer allied with the men of Arnor, or what Free Peoples, or whatever the hell you want to call them. And the dwarves are now trying to kill each other. The dwarves and the free people are now trying to kill each other. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what the fuck is going on. Your orders. What is it you wish to discuss? I do not believe very well. What else really? do you have to say? You, you want to make me an offer for your map information. You're not even going to discuss the possibility. It's good to Thank see you. We could... An honor and a pleasure. Farewell. Um, I don't know what the hell's going on. We could attack the Dunlings, the men of Dunland, but uh they kind of outnumbered me, just a little bit. <laughs> just a tiny tad little bit outnumbering me right now. So, uh, I have no idea, really. Well, I'll have to sort of wait and see. One thing I'm going to do, though. If I bring what's-his-face over here, we can build a watchtower. Which didn't really do much whatsoever. Because we already had a watchtower right there. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice because it's a uh, orc one. Anyway, guys, we'll... Uh, Go to the next turn and see what happens, I suppose. This shit is kind of put... God damn it, that's a weird-ass name. This shit has kind of put a, like, dwarf-sized hole in my plan in my hopes and dreams. Because, uh, I was hoping that the people, the humans and the dwarves, could get along, play nicely, Wipe out the Orcs of Gundabad and turn their attention to the real enemy, which is Mordor and Isengard. But no, they, they decided let's attack each other, completely waste our military power on each other, while the real enemy just sort of dwindles us down. So I'm on my own right now, constantly worrying about the fact that the Orcs and uh, that the Orcs are still alive and that the people, the fucking free peoples, could attack me at any time if they wanted to.
But yeah, this is uh, not going according to plan. Uh, not going according to plan at all. I'm really rather concerned right now. <laughs> I'm not really sure what our next move should be. Should we move on Gundabad? Yeah, screw it. We'll move on Gundabad. Be wary. For the light. Leave those two guys in there. I will defend my people. Recruit them. Yes, my lord. Onward. We'll move those guys on Gundabad, and they'll act as sort of a buffer between everything. I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping that they come to terms with each other and don't just go into an all-out war of stupidness. <laughs> It'd be like the most pointless and utter waste of time that my AI allies could possibly do. Should we team up and attack the enemy? Fuck no. Let's just sort of attack each other for no apparent reason. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say that one of them has the fucking one ring and that's why they've gone sort of batshit crazy. Sauron's a bit fucking worried about my alliances, and then he's uh, tricked one of them into sleeping with the other's mum, and then that's why they're attacking each other. <laughs> and it's more likely that the AI just sucks. <laughs> I'm slightly worried about Dale now, actually, as well. Let's check my diplomats. Yes, my lord. My lord. Yes, my lord. Yes. My lord. My lord. So I'm pretty sure the dwarves control this dump over here as well. Yeah, they do. Yes, my lord. I will defend my people. Okay, we'll go to the next turn and lay siege to Gundabad, I suppose. Actually, before we do that, can we or can we not build a diplomat here? Yes, we can. Awesome. I want to send a diplomat over to the uh, Men of Dale to get an alliance with them. Because I'm kind of worried about that now, to be honest. I'm pretty sure they're friendly with me, but they're not my allies. So I'd like to have them as my allies. <laughs> okay, then. I really need to stop starting every turn with okay then, because you guys haven't been waiting, it just goes straight away for you. I have to sit here for five minutes waiting for the damn turns to go. Uh oh, we've got an invasion. One minute is Tirith. Great. Silver Elves and the Orcs of Gundabad. Yeah, but we were going to attack them anyway, so... Maybe they noticed the giant army outside of their uh, city here. And thought, hmm, let's declare a war on them first. <laughs> Keep them off Pretty sure I'm not going to need those ladders, but there you go. Your orders, my lord. So what I'm going to do, because the dwarves control all that place, we don't need to worry about them too much. It's just uh, I shall continue to condom up there. What the hell you want to call it? That's what I'm saying, that it's kind of my backup plan. If the Free Peoples and the Dwarves are still going at it, if I uh, keep Gundabad and Kardam here, uh, let them pretty much destroy their Dwarves on the, this side in the west, and hopefully act as a buffer. I won't give them each military access so they can't go through my lands without declaring war for me. I'll constantly keep a full stack of Gundabad and sort of be the buffer between them. <laughs> be the person trying to calm them down a bit, kind of thing. That's the plan, anyway. A garrison script has kicked in in Gundabad. We'll leave it seven turns and just lay siege because there's no rush to take it, so. My lord. Approaching quietly. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Now, um, what do we do? What do we do? Down here, we've got the Dunling guys, but I don't know what exactly they're doing, really. 
I'm half tempted to go see what kind of damage I can do to him. <laughs> you will ruin these trees no longer. Stay in the trees. Uh, what can we build to increase public order? There you go, build that. Hey, look. Huh, he was there when they were made. Because I'm pretty sure this is where they forged the rings or something. Be wary. Take them this way. That crap, an assassin. That's not what we need. What <laughs> How good want? is he? Ah, shit, assassin, so. Although he's on his own in a castle, so he's. He, uh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the elves. With my arrows, I can probably beat the shit out of the Dunderlings quite fucking easily, so hopefully. I'm thinking we should be able to take this little city here. And maybe beat the crap out of them. Just piss them off a little bit and. Hopefully do some damage. Uh, not too much else that we can build, is there? No, not really. I could build this Mirkwood Archer, I suppose, but... May as well. Sylvan guy as well. Move this diplomat yes, towards Dale. Tomorrow's we want to get an alliance with the Dales. Hopefully give them some cash in return for it, kind of thing. Do we have an alliance with the High Elves or not? No. May as well get one with them. My lord. Approaching. It's good to uh, see. You. Map information in return for. Wait, no, not my map information. I want your map information in return for some cash. Uh, no. Very well. Stubborn fucking dwarves. What's your next suggestion then? Fine, how about this? A nice, hugely generous 2,800. That was Seriously? Another proposition for God damn it, the stubbornness of dwarves. <laughs> Fine, I will give you 5,000, because I don't have all fucking day. Uh, Thank so you! Uh, what? No! I see your reason, but we, we cannot match this offer. We must decline as a result. What? Fuck off! What's your next I'm offering you five grand for some goddamn map information. <laughs> Look, I'll even throw in my map information to sweeten the deal. <laughs> I was almost able to accept, but Why do these dwarves insist on pissing me off? <laughs> You will accept my offer, dwarf. <laughs> Fine. Fucking 7,500. And my own map information. Okay, fuck you. Fuck you, mate. Fuck you. Yes, <laughs> I shall. There's stubbornness, and then there's, there's just a fucking utter stupidity. <laughs> I offer them 7,500 gold, as well as my own map information, in return for basic map information from them. Hopefully, the Dales, the men of Dale, will be slightly more fucking agreeable with me. Probably not, though. Ooh, not gonna start with her saying okay. <laughs> Your orders. As a Dale agent, which is not nice. My lord. You have a proposition for us? Have I imagine? Offer you what I all offered the dwarves earlier, 7,500. I'd like your map information as well. No, we cannot. No? Another proposition. We're happy to listen. Okay, because I like you guys more than the dwarves. <laughs> I am not quite you have another Seriously. What is it with people Listen. and just being utter fucking twats in this fucking game? Oh yeah, look. Ten fucking grand. This is how much I'm offering you. Ten grand for a simple fucking alliance.
I don't want to offer a map information. Uh, military access. It's the last thing I want, really. If they don't accept this, they're idiots. <laughs> This one Thank you, I only took half of my fucking treasury well. just to secure an alliance with him. <laughs> yes, my lord. Without question. Yes. Without question. There you go, at least we are now allied with Dale. So I want to do secure my alliance a bit more. See, my reputation is mixed because I am okay sometimes, but half the time I'm like executing orcs and shit. Uh, I don't know. What else do we do, really? Elves, two arms. Sir. Move out! Follow my lead! Take them this way! Really, what is Legolas's line of sight, huh? Attack! Destroy it! Have your weapons ready, elves. Now I wonder, what is the incredibly high chance that I'm gonna get attacked by the dun dun men of Dunland when I lay in siege to this from another location? Very high chances that I'm gonna get attacked, I'd say. I'm just doing it to piss them off, really, and weaken them. The Elves of Lorien are still my allies. They haven't given up their freedom to the men of Isengard, or Orcs of Isengard, I suppose. But it hasn't happened yet. Wouldn't fucking surprise me, though, the way the game's going. <laughs> At least the Elves of Lorien are still holding that place for now. Anyway, guys, we've reached the 30 minute mark, so we will end this here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what our path's going to be. Like I said, I'm going to try and deal. Obviously, we can't leave this place undefended, sharing borders with the men of Dunland like this. What I might do, actually, is give this place to the High Elves. And then they can defend it. <laughs> well, they probably won't defend it very well. So for now, obviously, we can't leave it undefended. We're going to have to take the fight to them and deal as much damage as we can. Good thing is, Legolas's troops are very well trained and kick some serious ass. Although, they are rather battered right now. I have the Ents, though, who are rather powerful. <laughs> very powerful. At least, as long as you don't shoot them with uh, fire arrows or any ballistas of sorts. But yeah, um... We'll do as much damage here as we can. Obviously, we'll continue to lay siege to Gundabad. We're just going to let uh, leave it under siege because there's no rush. There's no way any of them are going to show up and uh, Your order. do me any real damage. So We're going to do that. We're going to go down, back down here with this diplomat Tomorrow's and journey get the orcs out, with us again. Uh, not the orcs, the high elves. That place is still heavily guarded. But the chances of the Orcs of Gundabad coming all the way around here and trying to get Gundabad back is slim to none, so... Well, in theory, at least. This place needs some an upgrade. Sweet, an upgrade. Uh, we will recruit some shitty units just to keep it happy for a bit. <laughs> we need another spy. Nah, you can never have enough spies. But yeah, we will end this here. It's gone way past the 30 minute mark now. I'm talking too much. Uh, if anyone has any suggestions on what I should be doing, keeping in mind that I can't leave the Misty Mountains too undefended because I, not, I no longer have an alliance with the Free Peoples, although they are still my friends. So we can either move on the Dunlings, which is the men of Dunland in this general area, and then try and help against Isengard and Rohan and everything, or... I could rally my forces, leave a defensive force in the Oster, in Gahil, whatever the hell place you want to call this. Leave this defended, and leave a full garrison at Gundabad as well. 
and then move all my forces over here and move on Mordor. Of course, that would leave enemies on our flanks and everything, and I kind of like the idea of just wiping out minor enemies before going for the major one. But uh, if my allies are going to start fighting each other, my plan might not exactly work out as smoothly as I originally anticipated it. <laughs> so, I don't know. Annotation top right hand guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Annotation top right hand side guys. That's all for now. Soul out.